Hi everybody, Nancy here. Today I'm going to talk about how to better control file size in Zoom Notes. I'm going to be honest with you, I never really concern myself with how big my planner gets because Zoom Notes always manages to keep up with my stupid. Okay, I a year ago I had issues with everything going so slow and you know whatever well I just bit the bullet and it wasn't long before zoom notes helped me out just behind the scenes he took care of some of the issues without me even knowing what was going on however there is a way to help yourself and to help zoom notes to not be so huge and uh, I want to show you guys how to do that and, and just point out some things that I never even cared about until last week. Last week, I, um, it was Cyber Week, and I found a bargain. It was, well, let me show you. It was this right here. This product. 1225 watercolor images and I was able to get it for like 750 because it was on sale now notice that it says the file size is 1.28 what she doesn't say anywhere is that and I should have known this but I don't know enough about file sizes to get a grasp of what that means all that is is a zip file that sends you to five other places to um, download the actual pictures and when I did that oh my gosh these files are huge and because they're so big I, I still haven't downloaded everything and probably won't now that I know what's happening but um, and normally I would just drag it and make it a symbol. Now that's attached to Zoom Notes and, you know. I, so because of that, I did not make any symbols of these particular images. These things are so huge that I'm going to have to pay extra storage space on iCloud every month just to hold them, you know. And it's stupid because these things are, it's not like they're gorgeous, you know. <laughs> It's not like they're worth the extra storage cost. All right. L let me shut up. Okay. This is what I would normally do. Not paying any attention to size of images or anything. First of all, I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm going to just show you how big this file is. I go to the Z, and right now, before I do anything, it's 62.4 megabytes done i'm gonna write that down because i won't remember it six now 62.4 all right so now i'm gonna go out to the web and pull in one of these images and i'm just gonna get this first one it's 29.1 megabytes for one image and i reduce it down and i make a copy of it well, I'm going to first, I'm going to take down the opacity just because I won't be able to see my, uh, wait, I won't be able to see my days if I don't. All right, that's good enough. Well, you got to make a copy of that. So if I take that image and I do a copy, copy, and then paste, well, let me double tap. I'm not real sure what it did. Let's see, paste. I think there might be two ver. No. So I all I'm doing here is every time I paste this thing, I'm adding thirty um, megabytes to this one document all right so if I look at that I've now increased it to 357.3 megabytes done 
300, let me, let me do it again. Yeah, 357, 357.3. I've got to write that stuff down or I won't remember it. 357.3. Now, normally what I would probably do is select all of those images, do a copy, go to the next week, do a paste in place, and just keep, keep repeating that without even thinking. But now I will be thinking. Now let me show you what you can do to help with this problem. There's several things actually, but we're just going to handle one of them, one way. So if I go to the selection menu and go down to uh, image, and if I click on reduce image resolution, it's asked me if I want it to look at the whole page for all the images that can be reduced. And I do yes. Okay, it's just reduced eight images. So let me look at the size now. See, it's gone back down to 65.8 megabytes. It's gone way down. So that's one way of taking care of the problem. Now, if I had copied that to every page, I also could do compress images. Let's see, let me, um, let me go ahead and do that. I'm gonna copy. Now I'm repeating the same image and do paste in place throughout this whole document, or I'll just do one week, paste in place, paste in place. And just this week, we're gonna have these flowers. And oh, and that's just, you know, that's just the beginning. I would fill this whole page up with different images. You know, I'm making this thing huge. Let's see. Well, I'm gonna stop there, that's enough. Um, and if I go back, I wanna go back to the beginning where it has the 357.3. Now let me look and see how big it is. Oh, oh, it had gone back down to the 60 something. Now it's at 80.9. So if I had not reduced the resolution, it would have been a monster file. As it is, it's 80.9, 80. .9, 80. Point nine, and if I now click on, oh come on Nancy, click on the uh, compress images, compress. Now what that does is takes, see it just did compressed 42 images. And I, I can't repeat that because it's already happened. Um, it's taken that one image and stored it, and then every place that it appears within the planner, it's going to reference that one picture. It's not gonna actually paste that picture, it's just a reference to it. So while you can see it, it's not actually there and you can't actually update it, but it gives the appearance that it's there. Now see, I would have to knock these when I pasted it, it didn't paste the opacity. But um, now let me look at this and see I went from 80.9 to see what it is. See, it's back down to 63.3. Wow, you know, I, just by doing those few things, done. Now, if I decided that I wanted to let me delete some of this stuff. It's just noise right now, so I'm gonna select it and delete it. Um, let's say I do want to create symbols out of this so that I don't have to go out to the web, which is so easy, why not? But I don't have to search for it next time. If I decide to pull in all of that, select that, select all, and, um, Let's see, open, and that pulls all of those different images into 
Zoom notes. It takes a second. But like I said, they're huge. So it's going to take a second. Yeah, I think it got it all. Now, just for kicks, let's see how much pulling in all of those things did. If I select here, see it's gone to 224 megabytes. Done. 224. Now, like I said, I've decided I want to pull it into Zoom Notes like this. Well, if I want to... Um, go ahead and reduce the size of all these images I will take it and first of all I'm going to resize it because it does matter it um, zoom notes will look at the size that you've created and, and assume that's the size that you want it so uh, that's how big I'm going to do it and it sets the resolution based on this size now I probably there may be some that I want a little bigger than that but even when the resolution is taken down a lot it doesn't have a huge effect so I go ahead and make it pretty small myself if I take that now I've got all of those selected and I do the um, reset let's see reduce image resolution under image to all those that I just pulled in, it says 10 images were reduced. Okay. Now, if I look at this again, see it's back down to 67.9. Done. Now, I don't feel guilty about creating symbols out of all of this. I would go ahead and select all of them, create new symbol, one per image and now I've got them stored as a symbol and they're always going to be that small okay now let me just show you an example see it's still even stretched out it's still clear or as clear as it needs to be 